Village of Bobak Master Twice the Nice that you are used to. Bam! I am here. And uh, today we are checking out some honest trailers, Incredible Hulk. So, link is in the description down below. Please go check it out for yourself. But are you guys ready? Let's do it. Let's go. From Marvel Studios and Universal yeah. comes the second movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that we're doing an honest trailer for because Infinity War is coming out. We've already done all the other MCU what movies, and Black Panther isn't on Blu ray yet. The Incredible Hulk. Meet Bruce Banner. <laughs> no, not the one people like. Who's that? He never played the Hulk, did he? No, you know the one I'm talking about. The Death to Smoochie guy. There he is. Ed yeah. Norton shines as the first Marvel actor to show off yeah. how many crunches he did for the part. Abs. And he's bringing his incredible range to a role that has him act like he's on Xanax. <laughs> I know a few techniques could help you manage that anger very effectively. Zip it. While off camera, he's bringing his incredible ego to a full rewrite of the script under the fake name Edward Harrison. Do you want to get Terrence Howarded? Because that's how you get Terrence Howarded. Join Bruce for a story where he runs away from the military, runs away from the military, <laughs> and runs away from the military again. But sometimes when his little Fitbit thing he hits Whoa, 200, he'll turn thing. into the Hulk, an unstoppable rage monster that's actually a huge danger to the entire planet, the economy of Brazil, <laughs> and all of Harlem. <laughs> Yeah, yes. where was Luke I'm Cage glad he flew off to not Planet Hulk. There wouldn't uh, be an Earth left for Thanos to punch. Hulk smash! Before Gwyneth Paltrow took a four year hiatus, and before Natalie Portman took an indefinite absence, I dumped her. This is a mutual dumping. Liv Tyler dropped off the face of the MCU without so much as an Easter egg. Stand and smile as the actress spends most of the movie standing and smiling as she doesn't get anything or even anyone to do. I can't get too excited. <laughs> Not even a little excited. <sighs> You've always wanted to see the Hulk match up against a villain that could equal his powers. Well, too bad, because he's fighting the skinny British guy from Reservoir Dogs. He's a decorated veteran with zero personal connection to Bruce Banner and zero threat to the Hulk. But when he shoots himself full of tainted Captain America juice, he'll turn into one of the most forgettable monsters in the MCU. The mixture could be an abomination. That was so bad, he got his ass kicked all the way into Batman v Superman. Ugh. Go back to the days before Marvel had this whole universe thing on <laughs> autopilot, where our nerd boners would only get little tastes of fan service. A sequel was only lightly implied instead of blatantly setting up five more movies. It put its post credit scene before the credits. What if I told you we were putting a team together? And didn't make a billion dollars. Oh, that's like Green Lantern money. Ugh. No, I know what it's like to not live up to expectations. So strap in for this odd sequel, requel, reboot, origin movie that's better than we give it credit for. Because whatever you think about the film itself, it gave us Mark Ruffahulk. Puny God. And paved the way for Ed Norton to join Wes Anderson's Fancy Boy Cinematic Universe. Oh man, I cannot wait for the Royal Tenenbaums to fight Steve Zissou in Budapest Hotel Infinity Floor. Okay, Green Goblin, nobody punches out Flash Thompson in this quirky hotel and gets away with it. Starring I am Jack's departure due to creative differences. Iggy Pop. What? Like a Ross. Y'all got an Iron Man suit that he's voicing? And Teenage Mutant Ninja Heroin Addict. <laughs> the Disposable Hulk. <laughs> ¿Dónde es? ¿Dónde estoy? En Guatemala. 
Yeah, it's probably not the first time a white guy got so hammered in Brazil he woke up half naked in Guatemala. Spring Break 97, woo! Don't sweat the petty things and don't pet the sweaty things. Oh, hell no, Karen. Keep your bland ass potato salad to yourself. I control all the bats. All the bats. <laughs> I know Clouds where that's are from. just ghost <laughs> chic. $50 fine and time served. Uh... Okay, I'll say this though. It what well, didn't it come before? Did it come before or after Iron Man 1? I can't remember. But I remember watching it in the theater. I thought it was pretty like the Hulk's never been that type of superhero for me. Like I like him a lot, but he's not like Spider-Man love or Black Panther love or Wolverine love or Blade. Like yeah, I'm saying he was alright. He was alright. <laughs> but yeah, I thought the movie was not bad. Yeah, I give it like a, a B minus. It was not bad. I liked it. Yeah, and yeah. But now, the thing is, running from the military, that's been the Hulk's M.O. forever. Because apparently he's military property. Property. Damn. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you did not, that is your business. And I'll see you all in another video because my man's got to be out. Peace.